happy Monday. Welcome back to Movement Monday. I'm glad you guys are still with us. Um, if you're feeling challenged, awesome. If you're not feeling challenged, just you wait and see. We will add some more dynamic to this. So we are gonna continue on with our hip exercises. This time we're gonna do an active exercise. This is a great one to get on the floor with your kids and have them do this too. Um, it's great for our athletes. So something we see in the gym is people just going through a really quick warm up with no intention. Now we've got our lifters, they have intentional warm-ups where, you know, today's squat day, so they're gonna focus on the squat and all of those components. However, the rest of us will hop on an elliptical, we'll do a couple hamstring stretches, we'll hang out on the stretching machine, and then we'll go do our workout. None of which is helpful. At least you're moving, but you know, let's be intentional. So this exercise is really, really great for hip mobility and it challenges different ranges that we don't ever get into. So it's called a hip circle and we're gonna do it on our hands and knees. Now, we could hip circle like this, okay? But if you pay attention to that circle I just made, it's a very small circle, which means that the amount of circular capacity we have in the hip joint isn't even being touched. It's like you have an ice cream bowl that's this big and you're only scooping the middle of it. You're forgetting the rest of the ice cream or the cookie dough, depending on your preference. So let's scoop all the cookie dough out of our bowl and make those hip circles slow and controlled and intentional, trying to reach extra ranges of motion. So follow along. We're gonna get on our hands and knees. And we're gonna start by bringing the knee to the elbow. From the elbow, it's gonna go straight up to the side, around the back, and it's gonna finish behind you bent up, okay? So the hip is gonna rotate in all different ranges as it passes through these positions. So position one is gonna be knee, two, elbow. Again, we're going to the end range, so we want to really push that, get that knee way up there. From here, we're going to go straight up to the side, foot and knee. Some of you guys are going to be able to get really high, some of you guys aren't going to be able to, so we're just going to work where we can. Keep that knee as high as we can, bring it all the way around the back, keeping that foot, that knee bent, because we want a short range we have to work with, bringing it all the way in and down. Now, if you get a little hamstring cramp at the end, that's okay. Work through it, breathe through it, keep stretching it out, and it will go away. Okay, so let's review. I'm gonna face the other way now. So we're gonna go knee to elbow. Then, and notice I'm tucked up really tight here. So I'm not sloppy on the foot. I tuck the foot way up to get out of the way. Knee to elbow, knee up to the side, around the back, taking that as high as you can bringing that all the way into the middle and back down. Now we're gonna reverse it. So we're gonna go straight back, as high as you can go, bring it out to the side, as high as I can keep it, all the way to my shoulder, and we're gonna bring it down to the elbow and back to the start position. So if you need a picture, you're trying to avoid touching something that's on the ground, going way up and over the top. Imagine a circle from your shoulder all the way back to your opposing hip. Though that's the range you're gonna take up. It's about 180 degrees. If you have any hip pinching or pain while doing this, not tension, but pain, please take that range down a little bit. We don't want you getting injured during the exercise and seek out a professional to help you with that pain. If not, and this feels really good, challenge this motion the best you can because it is a real, real great exercise for the hip range of motion. If you guys have questions, reach out, send this to your friends and your family and your coworkers, and I hope you guys have a great Monday.